Happy, happy Sunday. Just kidding. It was a very tired Sunday morning in this house. Um, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey, I'm Kate. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two toddlers, three and five. <laughs> I don't know why I have to think about that. Um, I... <laughs> <laughs> this channel gives you all of the cleaning, mom motivation, mom positivity, some cooking, trials and errors of baking, and just all the things that you probably want to watch. So subscribe so you don't miss out and we can hang out. Um, anyways, today is Sunday. So you know what it is? It's a Sunday reset, and I think I'm only gonna be doing two more of these before I switch things up. I'll still do Sunday reset, it's just gonna look a little different. Um, but today we're doing a whole house clean um, ish. <laughs> Let's be real, I'm tired, like I said. Um, but I really want to try to because the house itself is clean, um, it's picked up, it looks okay. Um, so I kind of want to get the bits that I haven't really been attending to, like cleaning, sweeping, dusting um, our closet floor and the baseboards. Definitely got to get the bathrooms always because they're somehow always insanely dirty. The kids' bathroom mirror is caked in toothpaste right now, so that's fun. Um, I actually just did the dishes and forgot to film because I was listening to a podcast on my phone. I needed some hype up, some motivation. I just started the Mel Robbins Start Here podcast, episode one, um, and it definitely got me going. I also have been listening to, I just re-downloaded Audible. I'm not a big reading person. I ADHD does not allow me to read. Um, it's hard enough for me to honestly like read the Bible. I have to like really hone in and focus. And even then I feel like so much gets lost on me, but I do it and it does make me feel better. <laughs> but I have also been, so I redownloaded Audible um, and have been really enjoying it because I randomly, I guess had some credits on there. So I downloaded the Ruthless Elimination of Hurry and the one truth. Um, I'm starting, I'm on the one truth right now. I got about an hour left of listening, so I'll probably listen to it. <laughs> probably be listening to it while I clean. Um, but yeah, I've been really enjoying it because I personally, the past two weeks or so, have been in a really weird headspace. I feel like I have been really diving deep into social media in all the wrong ways um and it just has not been good for me i feel like i have not really my mind just feels like it's going a million different ways um and it's it and it and it shows because on all of my platforms between youtube tiktok which i don't really get on tiktok that much at all actually um but instagram my con like the my you know rec like for you page whatever it is like the stuff that's coming across me is all over the place it's so random like stuff that i would never be interested in watching yet because i've been zoning out and like obviously i watch something for more than five seconds the algorithm is like oh she likes this let's give her more of that like my algorithm stuff is just all over the place um and so i was like you know what i'm done like i feel numb right now social media i'm done deleted all of it off of my um home screen on my phone so i'm taking at least a week break and then i might just ease myself in just to post something or to look for recipes or you know something like that um but i feel like i've just been numbing myself with social media and so i'm taking a break and I don't know. I feel like it, this is your sign. If you feel like you are escaping and sitting down and watching social media and not enjoying life, put it down. Take a break. Like I got to the point where I was getting pissed <laughs> at myself, but I was still doing it. I'm like, this is like addiction 101 or something. 
so I'm done. I'm taking a break. Um, and so I've been trying to listen to more podcasts and motivational stuff and sermons. Um, and it was so ironic because we went to church this morning and the sermon just, oh my gosh, it hit deep in my soul. God was like, girl, you need to hear this. Cause I swear the past two Sundays that we gone, I don't even remember what the sermon was about. Like, that's just how like <laughs> off I've been lately. Um, so we're here and it's, I know part of it's probably my cycle. You probably, you guys will probably get really sick of me talking about my cycle, but I know a good chunk of why I am the way I am and how I feel the way I feel sometimes is due to my cycle, but I'm not going to let my cycle run my life and ruin days, days and moments for me. So I am tuning into my happiness, tuning into God, taking a break from what other people are doing and just focusing on what I'm doing. So I hope all of that made sense. Um, I don't think my brain is back up to a hundred right now. So let's get into this video. Sorry for rambling. If y'all know me by now, you know, I ramble for a hot minute. Um, so let's get into this video. I'm going to start with probably the things I don't want to do. Like, sweeping the dust off of these floors so we're gonna do that and then i think we'll do the bathrooms doing laundry in between cleaning up the kitchen mopping and then i think that should be it so let's get into it again thank y'all so much for being here um i appreciate y'all let's do this
to it and I just felt I felt really compelled to say this with all the darkness in the world there will always be darkness in the world but Jesus is and will always be the light and I feel like I needed to hear that because I feel like the past two weeks like I said I've been in a really bad headspace I feel like I've been in a really bad headspace and I've been letting some darkness overcome me I haven't been going to my like Bible study connect group the past two weeks, which I've been religiously going for months now. Um, so as easy as it is to let the darkness overcome you, to hide, to isolate yourself, don't do it. I know it's so easy, but Jesus shines light where there is darkness and always overcome. So just remember that on those hard days, make yourself a note, whatever you need to do, you can get through it. You are strong and you are amazing. You can't do it alone. And that is why we have God in Jesus. So remember that. And right now, I need some strength to finish this plane. Let's do it. Like we're holding back the storyline. Come back. 
already gone You had to shot but you went about it all wrong Tried to pull you in close as we're locked on your phone Now you're sour cause I'm moving on All right, y'all, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I am done. I took about three hours to do, um, which is kind of the reason why I am flipping my Sunday reset a little bit, where I'm gonna try to do like a whole house clean on Friday. And then on Sunday, it'd be like a legit reset where we just kind of go around, pick up, um, you know, wipe up what might need to be wiped up, get things ready for the weekend, um, whether it be like, i.e. cleaning out the fridge, getting our kids will be starting school soon, just kind of getting that stuff like geared up for the week. Um, because it is now like four o'clock or something like that. Um, and there's only a few hours left to like hang out with the kids before we got to start getting dinner ready and doing stuff like that. So it's not bad, um, but I just wanna try to switch it up a little bit um because i'm tired but that's gonna wrap up today's video thank you all so much for watching thank you for hanging out with me thank you for cleaning with me um whatever it is i appreciate y'all being here you don't know what it means to me truly you don't because if you knew me you knew you would know that i've been petrified to do this and i know i keep talking about that but it just goes to show that like you just do it in t a terribly lit house in a not white pristine nice house no great camera or lighting or anything like that like you can do it um so just thank y'all i appreciate y'all and as usual if you need some prayers leave a comment down below just leave a comment down below in general say hi say what's up i love getting to know y'all so I hope you have a blessed week. I'm praying for y'all and I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.